This is Hanley in Stoke-on-Trent at 11.30 on a Friday night. Some of you may remember last year that I made a similar video to this, and as you can see, not a lot has changed. I can remember, probably less than 10 years ago, when this street would be absolutely rammed full of people. People were queuing out of the doors of the nightclubs. There was people handing out leaflets for free shots to make you go into their nightclub. And now there's very little left. There's probably four or five clubs in the whole area. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be many people in them. What baffles me though, is who owns all of these buildings? What is the purpose to them being empty? Surely someone's got to be paying the bills, the rates, the electricity on all of these buildings. And if they're not, if no one owns them and no one's paying the bills, then can't the council take control of the building and sell them to someone that's going to use them? I just can't understand how these buildings standing empty is benefiting anybody. I think one of the nails in the coffin for this area is that the police wouldn't give licenses after 2am. And this building here was the workroom. And it's only been open a couple of years and it was a fantastic venue. But the police and the council between them have just managed to, I don't know, make it not a very viable area for businesses, I suppose. It just makes me so sad. This used to be such a thriving place. Hanley was the place to be on a Friday and Saturday night. And like I say, we're 12 months later now and it's exactly the same. I mean, you know it's bad when they're shutting these gates at half past 11 and I think they're supposed to be shut at like 9 o'clock or something. Doesn't see much point in shutting them, does it? It's not like there's people all over the road like there used to be. This area is a little bit more lively. At least there's a couple of clubs open, but there doesn't seem to be many people. I don't know if this is because there's less people. There might be more people in the clubs I didn't go in, but it might be because less people smoke and don't go outside. I don't know. This street always used to be rammed with people, though. It's just a sad sight to see now. I mean, what do you guys think? What's caused this? Is it ever going to get any better? I mean, we've had systematic failure from the council throughout the years with urban development projects like the City Central, Unity Walk, that stupid big indoor arena that apparently was going to come. I mean, did they genuinely think that they were going to attract international artists to this area like this? What was the point in wasting all that time and all that effort trying to get investment for the other side of Hanley and then just leaving this area like this? Why didn't the council try and get investment to make this area better? To clean it up, to make it more appealing, to make it safer? Well, I don't suppose any of that matters now, does it, as we're going bankrupt anyway. But this is a weird one. This is Bar 360. And what I've just said to you about who's paying the bills and things. If you go up to Bar 360 at night and have a look through this window, there's literally a rave going on in there. I mean, how many years has this place been shut down? If you do actually remember when it closed, drop me a comment and let me know. But look, all of the lights are still on. I mean, have these literally been on having a rave on their own since it closed? Considering we're supposed to be in the middle of a climate crisis, I'm pretty sure my old diesel isn't the problem, and places like this are. It's just a massive waste, isn't it? Look at all of these buildings, just empty and wasted away. The whole place is just a health and safety nightmare. It's a good job there's no drunk people here, because most people would have fell down these holes. So thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think. And don't forget to check out my other local history videos and my website, The Red Haired Stokey. Thank you.